Thank you. I recognize the member for Guelph. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you for sharing your time. Um, today on Yom HaShoah, we honour and we remember the six million Jewish men, women and children who died in the Holocaust. And it's essential that we remember the horrors of the Holocaust, that we remember to fight every day against the type of hate that led to the discrimination, persecution and genocide of the Jewish people. The Holocaust is a reminder of why it is so important to speak out against and fight against anti-Semitism and the hate that is still present today. The kind of anti-Semitism that led to the shootings just this past weekend in a synagogue in California. We simply, Mr. Speaker, cannot allow the roots of such hate to take root in Canada. And that is why I read with horror over the weekend the Globe and Mail story giving us an inside look into the alt-right hate groups that are rising in Canada today. And I believe everyone in this House and across this country has a responsibility to stand against and speak out against such hate groups. This past Sunday, I had the privilege of joining the Yom Hoshoah event at the Beth Isaiah Synagogue, where I was inspired by the story of Howard Chandler, who talked about his lived experience as a Holocaust survivor. Mr. Chandler talked about the ways in which he was dehumanized as a young boy, making it easier for others to hate him and his family. And his story was such a heartbreaking reminder of why it is we must all come together to stand against anti-Semitism and all forms of hate. Today, we pay tribute to all those who lost their lives and the millions who suffered in concentration camps, the families and communities torn apart, the people whose heroic stories of survival inspire us today. And Mr. Speaker, we owe it to them to never forget and to never remain silent in the face of anti-Semitism and all forms of hate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.